The Diana, Princess of Wales statue will be open to the public on Tuesday 31st August to commemorate the 24th anniversary of her death. Historic Royal Palaces, HRP, has revealed that special arrangements will be made for visitors to see the statue from the cradle walk around the sunken garden, where it stands, from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Announcing the special occasion a spokesman for the historic royal palaces said, We acknowledge that there will be interest in viewing the statue on that day. So we will be providing access to the cradle walk which is essentially the beautiful walkway around the sunken garden. We will be opening that up, freely available, for passers-by or anybody who wants to stop and take a moment on that Tuesday, especially for the anniversary. The sunken garden at Kensington Palace, which was one of Diana's favorite spots at the palace, has been redesigned in the last two years and now boasts more than 4,000 unique flowers, including forget-me-nots, which she loved. The bronze sculpture, designed by sculptor Ian Rank broadly shows the princess embraced by three children. The statue of Princess Diana was unveiled by her sons, the Duke of Cambridge and the Duke of Sussex, earlier this summer, during a private ceremony on 1 July, which would have been their mother's 60th birthday. According to the official website, the statue aims to reflect the warmth, elegance and energy of Diana, Princess of Wales, in addition to her work and the impact she had on so many people. The Princess of Wales died on August 31, 1997, and this year will mark 24 years since the fatal crash in Paris. Special arrangements have been made to allow visitors to view the memorial, unveiled by her sons, Princes William and Harry. When it was finally unveiled, Prince William said in a statement, Today, on what would have been our mother's 60th birthday, we remember her love, strength and character, qualities that made her a force for good around the world, changing countless lives for the better. Every day, we wish she were still with us, and our hope is that this statue will be seen forever as a symbol of her life and her legacy. Due to the pandemic, Kensington Palace and its gardens are operating on reduced opening days and are usually only accessible to the public from Wednesday to Sunday. A HRP spokesman said. We acknowledge that there will be interest in viewing the statue on that day. So we will be providing access to the cradle walk which is essentially the beautiful walkway around the sunken garden. We will be opening that up, freely available, for passers-by or anybody who wants to stop and take a moment on that Tuesday, especially for the anniversary. The artwork, cast in bronze and designed by sculptor Ian Rank Broadley, shows the princess surrounded by three children and depicts her in the later years of her life. Beneath the statue is a plinth engraved with Diana's name and the date of the unveiling, while a paving stone in front is engraved with an extract after the poem The Measure of a Man, which was in the program for the 2007 memorial service for the princess. Kensington Palace's sunken garden, one of the places Diana loved most at the palace, has been redesigned during the past two years and features more than 4,000 individual flowers, including forget-me-nots, which were adored by the princess.